left the States for the Caribbean, we really had one goal in mind, and that was to safely get down to those islands and spend some time with our kids on a sailboat. Preferably happy times. So yes, we had an idea in the back of our mind for circumnavigation, but we weren't going to force that. After all, life isn't always easy on a sailboat. We wanted to get some miles under our belt before we made such a decision, because it's a big one. Once you start to sail around the world, your bailout options become much more limited. So it was a big deal when we reached Guadalupe. We had our first real family meeting about where to go next. It was unanimous. We all agreed that as challenging as life can sometimes be on a boat, that as much as we were missing home, we were gonna go for it. We were gonna sail around the world. Our plan now was to be in Panama within two months, and that made it decision time. From Guadalupe, there are really two routes one can take. The first route, which seems sensible until you've done it and vow to never do it again, is to sail south down the Windward Islands to the ABC Islands just north of Venezuela. And then from there, you sail downwind to Panama. But we knew from experience that sailing this route any time between January and March meant we would encounter extremely high winds and a short wave period off Colombia. In fact, many sailors have said that this route is one of the most dangerous routes in the world, right up there with rounding Cape Horn or Tierra del Fuego. With our kids aboard, it was clear we wanted a different route. A second option, not as easy, but certainly safer, would be for us to backtrack where we'd come from, up the Leeward Islands, hitting Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, Jamaica, and then sail south to Panama. Despite not being as interested in those islands, we decided that for safety reasons, this would be our route. And as you'll see, we actually loved it in these places. So Jamaica, here we come. There was just one last thing we needed to do before leaving Guadalupe and then we'd be off. Okay, so yesterday we went on a super cool hike, right? Yeah. yeah. How cool? Really, really cool. Really cool hike. And so today, what are we gonna do, Pierce? Go to the hike and, and bury our kids in the hike. We're gonna bury some treasure. These kids love being pirates and burying treasure. But the cool thing about today, guys, the cool thing is, this is as far east as we're gonna go. We are in Guadalupe, we're in Dizé, and from now on we're heading west, we're going that way. We're going towards the setting sun, towards the South Pacific. We've decided we're gonna go to the South Pacific and go around the world, and so this is it. This is as far east as we're gonna go. So our thought is, we'll bury this treasure, and when we come back around the world, this treasure will be one of the first things we, we dig up and we can help celebrate our circumnavigation. And so what have you guys put in the treasure? What have you put in there? Um, I put I, in one of my um, Mario game checkers, some money, and a letter. Your hair is fantastic, by the way. <laughs> Mom, what'd you put in? Um, I donated the Tupperware box. <laughs> okay, and I donated the coins, I believe. Okay, all right, let's go, uh, let's go back and dig this up. I'm sorry, viewers, we're not gonna share the exact location. However, I brought our GPS tracker, so we'll record the very specific GPS waypoints, and someday in the future, your future selves will come back and we'll dig it up. Sound like a plan? Okay. All right, let's do it. But we're not putting it online. No, yeah, we will we not share the location, there. sorry. Okay, we've decided this is our spot. For security reasons, we can't show you exactly where this is. I can't dig here. No? Come on. Bringing in the muscle. We've got beach shovels and a rainforest, so we're doing the best we can do. Okay, mental note, next time let's bring metal shovels. Okay, bury right There's there. There's the treasure. All right. This is the spot. That's actually pretty good. No one's gonna find well, this. No one's look at that, oh, it looks perfect. We can't tell anything. That looks pretty good, we gotta make it look... Random. Random, kinda like that. What do you think? What do you think? Good? Yeah. It's acquiring the satellites to tell us exactly where to go. Yeah. Okay, I, I uh, got our location. We are at 16 degrees north. 18 minutes and one... Am I the one most excited about this or are you guys excited? Uh, really excited. All right. Let's see. Let's see, Reese. Tell us. Really, 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 really excited. There's the road sign. What does it say? It says Rue de Abelias, right? Is that how you pronounce it? Rue de Abelias. Okay. Now to go to the bakery. Now to the bakery. Now to the patisserie. Oh my god, you are horrific. 
Horrible French. My French Your French excellent. teacher excellent. would be just disgusted with you. What are you guys going to get? Uh, a and a chocolate bakery. We're just taking it back to the There's what's left of Guadalupe. Sorry for the wind noise. I don't know if there's anything I can do about it other than try and block it with my body here. Anyway, we are, we've left Guadalupe. We're on our way to the windward side of Montserrat. Then we're gonna hang a left, go to port, and uh, sail off down to St. Croix. God, I hope it's all right. That's our plan. We're now massively diverting. We're leaving our boat buddies. Uh, we're so sad to see, say goodbye to Serendipity and Sophie and Saga and a bunch of other boats we've met, but we gotta, we gotta find our own path. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna about, you can see that, we've got two reefs in the main. Full Genoa out, zipping along here, 10 knots. Ooh, screaming. We're now sailing from Guadeloupe to Montserrat, and then we're going to turn a little bit more left. We have to go to the windward side or we'll get ash all over the boat. We're gonna follow this line all the way to St. Croix. So right there is the volcano, and all the smoke is going that way. And that's the only reason we're going around, <laughs> is that we have to avoid the smoke. Isn't it kind of cool? Yeah, it looks really nice. It does. Crab trap, crab traps, which is a problem. But we have our charts, and we have our radar, and we have our radar zones, so we should be good to go. We're as safe as we can be. We're keeping an eye out. Can you help me with watch? All right. Had a very peaceful evening. The sun is coming up behind us. Flying our spinnaker only, our reacher only. Wind's pretty light. I don't know if you can see me, but perfect night. No rain, no boats. Uh, had our radar alarm on. No interference. Everything's been just beautiful. Nice and smooth. Everyone's sleeping. If only every passage could be like this. Okay, and there we have it. We have made it to the USVIs. We've never been here, first time. Decided to check it out. That was about as easy a passage as it gets. We were excited to check out St. Croix. It's the first time we'd been in the USVIs. Had a little close encounter with the seaplane, but otherwise it was pretty good. In fact, so far, sailing downwind is going pretty well. Hopefully all of our passages will be like this.